Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm just doing a quick um, get ready with me. I'm going out a bit later with a few friends so I thought I should try film this look. I used a few different techniques and tried out a few different products. Um, so I'm, if I have any opinions on those I'm just gonna do them in a voiceover so there's completely no talking it's just a quick watch me get ready watch me transform and I'm really happy with this the way this look turned out. I didn't really know what I was doing when I started but yeah I think it's really cool it's a really nice nighttime look. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching in advance and if you have any comments, concerns, leave them in, leave them down below and I'll get back to you. Um, products used are in the description box below but remember to like, comment and subscribe and then let me know if there's anything else you would like to see on my channel. Thanks. So first off, I'm using the new Kelso Beauty Illuminating Primer. Um, it was quite a sticky primer, which is nice, which means your foundation is going to stick onto it. But the glow I found was very purple, which can look like sunscreen. And when I blended it in, it didn't really like still maintain that same glow. But I've used it again since, and I used a lot more of it, and I found that that was much more helpful. As you guys may have noticed, I have those dark ridges on the side of my nose, so applying concealer directly onto it and blending it out has helped me be able to snatch my nose contour a bit better, in case you're wondering why I did that. As I said before, I didn't really know where this look was going when I started, but Modern Renaissance is a favorite that I just recently rediscovered, so I was just kind of going with it until I found a look where I was happy. Um, I recently received the YSL Cream Shadows, so I thought maybe I should try and incorporate that. And then what I noticed was that, like, I don't know, it didn't really, like, apply that easily, like, not much of the product got onto the applicator, so I had much more luck using a brush than I did using um, the applicator itself directly onto my eyelid. So as you can see, I'm cutting a crease now using concealer again, and um, I usually only show one eye that I do, and this is because, as you may see, my right eye is not my favorite eye. It creases a bit differently, so I struggle sometimes to cut a crease on it, hence why I usually never film it.
Another new product in this video is the Urban Decay 24-7 Eyeliner and Troublemaker Mascara Set. I think the Troublemaker Mascara is new and it is so nice. Um, I'm a huge fan of bristles that are like very flat and short because I have very short eyelashes myself. So all of those curvy and like twisty spoolies actually do absolutely nothing for me. Another first is me wearing black eyeliner. Um, I actually have quite small eyes in contrast to the size of my face, so it's something that I very seldom do, but the 24-7 liner is actually really nice, really smooth, really easy. You don't have to worry about stabbing yourself or anything. Along with the primer, I also bought um, the new Kelso Beauty Foundation. Um, I didn't really know what to expect, also because the bottle has no information on it. Um, and it is actually a very light to medium coverage, which is something I found. I was like, this is very much like no coverage because you'll see me build it a bit. The colors are also weird. Like when I was trying to shade match, I took like three or four different shades and I kept going back and forth, mostly because I felt like I couldn't find my shade and I thought that this was the closest to it, even though it still looks really light, but it blends out really well and it holds up during the day and it's actually quite a nice foundation. Good if you like light to medium finish. It's not too heavy on the skin and it looks quite nice when you blend it out. Because I was a bit unsure of the color of my foundation, I thought that I shouldn't use the Urban Decay concealer because that's a bit light. So I just went back into the NARS because I thought that one's a bit more natural looking. Um, yeah, and then I blended in with the sponge and then I apply my loose setting powder. And then I also blend that in with the sponge and I found that that has a very nice, like flawless blend to it. So that was something new that I tried today and I think I'm gonna like it. Like, I think I like doing it. It's with a damp sponge, it helps blend everything so much easier. My nose is still a point of contention when I contour. Like I think I've got it all down, but then also I panic and then I use a lot of banana powder and stuff to try and correct it afterwards.
Moment Care After Go Platted is definitely a fave. I love using it. It's so nice, natural looking. But then again, I only use like one or two colors out of it. Um, but then other than that, I use my NYX lip, um, lip lingerie and beauty mark and my dark brown liner. And, and then I set everything. And then that is it. Um, if you'd like to see more of these types of videos, let me know. Remember to like, comment and subscribe. Leave me some love in the comments. And yeah. See you next time.